everybody, and welcome to Snack English. In today's lesson, I'm going to tell you five everyday expressions. Spoken language is full of text expressions that are not necessarily difficult to understand, but have a fixed form that does not change. These have to be learned as whole expressions. These expressions are sometimes difficult to find in dictionaries, so it is important to be in the lookout for them. Let's dive in. Number one, never mind. It means forget about it or don't worry about it. For example, I wanted to ask you to buy me a meal. But never mind, I'll quickly cook something. Of course, you couldn't have done that all alone, so never mind. Of course, you couldn't have done that all alone, so never mind. Number two, put up with. That means to accept or continue to accept an unpleasant situation or someone who behaves unpleasantly. If you have a demanding and difficult boss, you of course will deal with either demanding or kind. For example, Jennifer has a really demanding boss, and although she has to put up with a lot at work, she really likes what she does. You've only had to put up with me for nine minutes. You've only had to put up with me for nine minutes. Why do we put up with so many things in our lives that make us unhappy? Number three, pissed off. That means very angry. For example, if you want to express your anger, you may say, I'm pissed off the way they have treated me. For example, I get pissed off when I saw someone disrespecting an elderly man. How many of you know somebody who no matter what happens finds a way to get pissed off? Huh? You didn't even talk to me. I got so pissed off at him. Number four, come to think of it. You can use this phrase if you have suddenly realized something, often something obvious and clear. For example, come to think of it. I don't remember giving him the key. I'd better call him and check just in case. Come to think of it, I forgive them. Come to think of it, I forgive them. Come to think of it twice, I, I, I'd be glad to have it twice a week. That would... to emphasize that you are stating your personal opinion. For example, this man is really kind, if you ask me. Another example, if you ask me right now, learning English is highly significant. It opens up door to be engaged in the new world. If you ask me, are you a writer, Judy? I'll say no, but I'm a great rewriter. If you ask me, are you a writer, Judy? I'll say no, but I'm a great rewriter. And if you ask me, I think one of the ways that we can do that. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a good lesson. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you are a new visitor.